Station. Yo, what's good guys? It is April 10th and after such a bearish pretty much month and a half, all of all of March was pretty much bearish and maybe a little bit of February too, but I'm starting to see a lot more bullish upside in the markets and I'm starting to see a few setups that are shaping up to look very interesting. So I wanted to share a few of them with you today and I'm looking forward to it because I really want to see how these are going to play out in, the f in a few weeks. By no means is this a guarantee that all of these stocks are going to go up. Like I'm for example, with this stock MTRX, back in January, I called it out thinking it was going to go up um, around like the end of January. And what happened is it kept going down. So there's no guarantee, but why I'm sharing these setups is pretty intriguing from a technical perspective. So let's get into it from starting with MTRX. Why I like this setup so much is because I think there's overall a larger trend going on. So we have a obvious uptrending stock, but this period of consolidation, which formed a triangle, was like around three months from late July to late November, right? So what I'm seeing here is pretty much the same pattern playing out. So we have this four month long consolidation. Now it might not shape in a triangle, but it's a downward sloping consolidation. When we look at the volume, it is dying off slowly and it is very small. And now when we zoom in, we're starting to see that we just recently got a big spike in volume. Now let's analyze this chart a little bit further. We came down into this $1.24 to $1.71 range. And as we broke down, we broke below the $1.24 range and immediately pretty much got bounced right back up. So there's a lot of demand in this zone, which is why I have this area marked out. We're starting to see a lot of wicks in this area and things get very, very tight. Now we're gonna zoom into the four hour time frame and it's following this downward trend line perfectly from the top of February, pretty much down until late March. And as we break up over this trend line, we break up over with larger than average bull volume. And then we come back, we back test it and look, we've run. Now, I love this chart. Right now it's showing good bull signs. Now, could it come down from here? Of course, it's actually showing signs that it could, it's supposed to consolidate now. What I want to see is it hold above $1.50. If it could hold above $1.50, it's pretty bullish. That's why I have this curve set up here because I believe there's a potential higher low to be made in this area. That would make one, two, three higher lows in a row, which would end up making my overall thesis on this trade make more sense, right? I think we're going to eventually create like a cup and handle or something on this thing where we'll do this and then we'll ride our way up and then there's a bigger trend going on. So I think this will eventually turn into one of those bigger trades that could potentially go up. It's really early on, but that's why I like MTRX. I want to keep this on, our, on we'll keep it on your watch list. I'm already in it, <laughs> but I'm starting to really like what it's shaping up and I'm starting to see the bigger picture. It could potentially break below, but I wanted to hold these levels. That's why I got those there. Next, we got Lemonade. Now, Lemonade has been a nice chart to me because every time that I have pretty much came to this chart, I've made money off of it. So why I like this chart right now is because we've had such a structured sell off into this demand zone. Now this zone was our previous kind of stall point. We had some confluence over here and we couldn't break up over it. It's around $70. But once we broke up over it, that 70 to pretty much $80 range has been clear ever since. So we come back down into that range structured and there's a decrease in bear volume. It's still there, it's still present, which is why it's still potential for this to come back down into this demand zone, which would mean there's a channel, a descending channel playing out. But what I think is gonna happen is there's gonna be, as you can see, inverse head and shoulders, and I think we're gonna break up over. I like it, we have like around like six, five, six days here, five, six days here, and another five to six days here. It's almost perfect. So I'd be surprised to not see us break up over this and make our ways back up towards this range, this 135 to 140 range. I like this area. I think the odds of us making it up towards here are more likely than us going towards this demand zone. So I think the risk to reward here is favorable and I like what's shaping up on this chart. 
the prices have already been to 188 and I, it's an insurance company and I'm uh, the way I'm thinking is like if this is a legit insurance company they're going to be around for a long while loving the chart what it's doing and what I'm liking the most is that we're starting to see the buyers come in like this volume isn't large but it's driving the prices higher and we're starting to see a, a trend change we just now need to get that break up and create another higher low that was LMND if I didn't mention but now we have PLTR. Now this one's a popular one. I, I love this chart. This chart is like, I don't know, man, something about it screaming at me. Like I really think that by the end of the year, this is going to be, in my opinion, a lot higher than where it's at right now. It's pretty obvious that we're playing from this 27 to $21 range. And I, I say that's obvious just because we have the most confluence on the chart in this range. You could just tell by looking at how many candlesticks have played in this area. But another thing I like is when I see this chart, I see two specific areas that really scream out to me. It's this one right here and this one right here. And they're both rejecting this, this $21 to $20 range. So I'm thinking this area is going to be our bottom. I see this here as potentially being our bottom. Now, if this is our bottom, I think we've spent a lot of time accumulating here and we're gonna be ready to make that big move. We've already been to $45. What we want to see happen now is we need to break up over this downward trend line, which is pretty much holding us back. We can tag $30, $27, and $24. We need to break up over this $24, $24.45. If we can break up over this, it'll pretty much sign solidify that we're going to make our ways up to 27. If we make our ways up to 27, what we need to see is we need to stall in this range and make sure that we build a healthy consolidation before we make our run up. I potentially see PLTR in the 70s. For some reason, this name just screams $70. We run the FIB extension from the very bottom to the very top to our pullback. From the very bottom to the very top to our pullback. It's potential, right? Our first target shows 56 the rest of the fibs of course it could go further but depending on how explosive this move is how i don't i don't really even i'm not even really sure what pltr does i'm pretty sure they're like a security company some like online security company so like if it's a popular name if there's a check for short interest if there's a lot of short interest on it it's likely this name will probably just end up ripping if you're holding this name too because i'm holding it comment down below i want to see rockets all over because I'm hyped for this name and the potential that uh, that could yield us in the coming year. Like, hey, who doesn't want to make some money? Because I do. PLTR could, could be the name for us. All right. And lastly, DeFi. I'm going to make another video on DeFi. Like deep diving the actual concepts, fundamentals, and technicals of, this, of the stock. But right now, we're just going to go over technically why I like it. And I think that there's a lot of opportunity. In my opinion, we have settled a base. Now there's potential we could come back down here. I would not like that, of course, because I really like the company's outlook and like what the investment is. And like I said, I'll get into that in another video. But for the meanwhile, what I'm liking here is this potential base we're seeing with highs of 320. Just alone, if you get into here with the potential upside is like gnarly. You got 75% upside just getting here. This, is, this isn't even including like the actual overall space potential. So me and, me and a couple of buddies have projected $5 and $9. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Right now we need to deal with breaking up over this. So I currently have that, had that poll going on where we're gonna see by May 14th if DeFi is gonna be above or below $3. So it will be interesting to see how the right side of the chart is gonna play out until we get to May 14th. Right now it's looking pretty bearish, but I like the opportunity here on DeFi. So we're going to, I think I'm going to maybe do an update on this maybe once a month or something. Once in a while, we'll have an update on these four specific names just because I want to see how they do throughout the year towards the end. But anyways, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Peace, guys.